Coming up, we're going to be talking about the second season of Star Wars The Bad Batch, plus is Disney after Batman? But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hey everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Monday, it's time for your quick Disney Plus news roundup. So let's start off with Star Wars The Bad Batch. The second season is going to be coming this fall, and now we've got a better idea of when it's going to be arriving, because according to the official Australian Disney website, they put up the list of everything that's going to be coming in September, and on the 28th of September, it's listed that you're going to be getting Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 2. This collaborates what was previously revealed back at um, Star Wars Celebration when Disney accidentally put up that it will be coming on the 28th and then quickly took it down. So yeah, so that's the second official outlet that's put that date out there. Um, but yes, I think this is very much a case now that we can sort of safely say this one's going to be coming. Um, now whether or not um, Australia was supposed to put it up yet, who knows, but sometimes these kind of things happen. Hopefully we get an official um, confirmation of the date pretty soon. Um, I know there's been some kind of um, conflab about whether or not um, this is a good idea to have Star Wars The Bad Batch and Andor running simultaneously because that's going to be happening right through October and most of November. Now Andor is a 12 episode series, we're getting the first three episodes on the 21st of September, so that means we've got about nine weeks of new Andor episodes. And with The Bad Batch, we know there are about 16 episodes, so if there's one episode a week, that's over four months, so that will get us pretty much to the end of 2022. So there's plenty of Star Wars content. Now, while I do enjoy The Bad Batch, I do feel like there is an element with this one where a lot of people will not check out an animated series, no matter how good it is, and so therefore only really count the live action. So while I personally would have scheduled them to be a little bit more apart, um, maybe there's just the thing with the amount of episodes, and then if we've got other Star Wars series coming as well that are animated, they just haven't really enough time to split it all in. So there we go, that is Star Wars The Bad Batch, and um, that, as I said, is, is set to arrive on the 28th of September. Also, some other highlights from the Australian list, we're going to be getting King of the Hill, all 13 seasons, so hopefully that will be sort of released around the world. Once it kind of goes in on the Disney Plus system, it usually doesn't take too long for it to go around. Um, other um, great highlights coming to Disney Plus right through the month. We're going to be getting things like The Patient, there's also going to be um, Reboot, and we're also getting um, the Mighty Ducks Game Changers, She-Hulk, loads of great stuff coming. You'll find the full list in the comments below, and yeah, you can find that over at whatsondisneyplus.com. One of the other things that was quite interesting about the official Australian list was that it listed for the end of September that we're going to be getting a sing-along version of The Nightmare Before Christmas. This isn't a huge surprise. We've already seen a number of movies already had their sing-along versions released, like Tangled, Beauty and the Beast, Moana. We're going to have a couple more dropping in September, including Frozen 1 and 2 dropping next week on Disney Plus Day. Plus, we're going to be getting Coco. Nightmare Before Christmas makes utter sense to get this one out just in time for the Halloween season and then the um, Christmas season, depending on how you look at this movie. Um, but yeah, so I suspect that will be a global release as well. And finally, let's now talk about Batman. Not something I thought I'd be talking about this week. But um, over the weekend, it was revealed that Disney's Hulu is currently trying to get hold of the rights to the HBO series Batman the Cape Crusader. Now, this was an animated series that was being created for HBO Max. It's now been kind of cancelled from HBO Max, but they've been kind of sort of trying to find a home for it and try and sell it off. So um, Netflix and Apple are also involved in trying to get hold of the rights as well as Hulu. Um, personally, I'm not entirely sure if Hulu are going to get this. I would be very surprised if they did. From my point of view, I don't really think it makes a good sense for Disney to be spending money on DC content. You got might as well spend that money on making something with the superheroes you do own. Um, but it may be just a quick, easy way of Warner Brothers making some money. This is a little bit different to the situations like um, Batgirl or anything like that, you know, because they do feel the qualities there, but they're just not investing now in HBO or Max Originals because, well, they're going to be closing down the service next year anyway and kind of doing a new launched version with Discovery and they're kind of going seems to be more like Sony where they are kind of selling off content to anyone that will buy it um, to make more money and that's not a bad thing for some um, platforms but yeah so Hulu getting Batman I mean they've had some of the Bat DC movies and stuff before so it's not a huge step um, I don't know if they'll go for global rights for this for um, Disney Plus because I just feel like it would open up a can of worms of people being um, kind of confused of why there's a Batman cartoon on Disney. Um, yeah, so 
I, I don't know. I mean, it could happen, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Warner might be a bit uh, wary of that as well. They might not want that with DC in the connection with Marvel. So they, who knows? But nevertheless, let me know. Would you like to see the Batman Cape Crusader series on Hulu? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I shall see you guys in another video. Laters.